In addition to finding the sum of a geometric series, there are other variations of questions we can do involving these series. For example, we may be asked to find the first term given the other variables, or we may be asked to find the number of terms given the other variables. Let's do an example question. We're given that the sum of the first five terms in a geometric series is negative 77 over 160, and the common ratio is negative 1 half, and we're asked to find the first term, A1. Let's see what we know. Because we're given the sum of the first five terms, we can say that n equals 5. The sum of the first five terms we'll call S5, which is negative 77 over 160. And the common ratio R is negative 1 half. We'll start by writing the formula for the sum of a geometric series. We will need to put in the information we know and then solve for the first term, A1. Because n equals 5, we'll substitute both n's in the formula by 5. We'll put in negative 77 over 160 for the sum S5. And we'll put in negative 1 half for each R in the formula. Negative 1 half to the fifth power is negative 1 32nd. We'll continue our solution up here. 1 minus negative 1 32nd is equal to 1 plus 1 32nd. And 1 minus negative 1 half is equal to 1 plus 1 half. 1 plus 1 32nd is 33 30 seconds. And 1 plus 1 half is 3 halves. 33 over 32 divided by 3 over 2 is the same as 33 over 32 times 2 over 3. We'll continue our solution up here. 33 divided by 3 equals 11, and 32 divided by 2 equals 16. So 33 over 32 times 2 thirds can be reduced to 11 sixteenths. We'll isolate A1 by multiplying both sides of the equation by 16 over 11. We'll reverse the equation to put the variable A1 on the left side. Negative 77 over 160 times 16 over 11 can be reduced to negative 7 tenths. So we can state that the first term of this geometric series is negative 7 tenths. Let's do another example. We're asked to find the number of terms in a geometric series in which the first term is negative 4, the common ratio is 3, and the sum of n terms is negative 484. We'll start by making a list of what we know. We'll make a note that the first term, A1, is negative 4. The common ratio, R, is 3, and the sum of n terms is negative 484. We're asked for the number of terms, which is n, so we need to find the variable n. To find n, we'll start with the formula for the sum of a geometric series. We'll put in negative 4 for A1, 3 for each R in the formula, and negative 484 for SN. We'll continue our solution up here. Dividing both sides by negative 4 gives us 121 equals 1 minus 3 to the power N over 1 minus 3. 1 minus 3 equals negative 2. Multiplying both sides by negative 2 gives us negative 242 equals 1 minus 3 to the power n. Subtracting 1 from both sides gives us negative 243 equals negative 3 to the power n. So 3 to the power n is 243. And we know that 3 to the fifth power is also 243. Therefore, n equals 5. And we can state that there are 5 terms in this series. This example is a little bit different. We're asked to find the sum of a geometric series for which a1 equals negative 81, the nth term, a n, equals negative 1 third, and the common ratio, r, equals 1 third. We'll do this problem in two steps. 
in the first step, we'll find n. And in the second step, we'll find the sum Sn. Let's make a note of what we're given. The first term, a1, equals negative 81. The last term, an, equals negative one-third. And the common ratio, r, equals one-third. This is the formula for the sum of a geometric series. However, this formula contains the number of terms n, and we don't know what that is yet. So the first thing we need to do is find the value of n. Here is the formula for the nth term in a geometric series or sequence. We can put in what we know and solve this for n. The first term, a1, is negative 81. The nth term, a n, is negative one-third. Dividing both sides of the equation by negative 81 gives us 1 over 243 equals r to the power of n minus 1. We can substitute one-third for the common ratio r. 1 over 243 is the same as one-third to the fifth power. So one-third to the power five is equal to one-third to the power of n minus one. Therefore, five equals n minus one. So n equals six. We'll make a note up here that n equals six. Now we have all we need to find the sum of this series. We'll start with the formula for the sum of a geometric series. We'll put in negative 81 for a1, 6 for each n in the formula, and 1 third for each r in the formula. 1 third to the 6th power is equal to 1 over 729. We'll continue our solution up here. 1 minus 1 over 729 equals 728 over 729. And 1 minus 1 third is equal to 2 thirds. 728 over 729 divided by 2 thirds equals 728 over 729 times 3 over 2. Dividing 728 by 2 and 729 by 3 gives us 364 over 243. Negative 81 times 364 over 243 equals negative 364 over 3. So we can state that the sum of this series is negative 364 over 3.